good hot chocolate. Oh, thank you. Oh, this is so pleasant. Of course. You see, not everything at the Willows is eerie sounds and shadows. <laughs> well, so far, I'm enjoying my visit a great deal. I just hope that you and Bennett aren't going to too much trouble. Oh, what do you mean by that? Oh, well, Lisa, that was a very elaborate dinner tonight. Now, you can't possibly eat that way all the time. <laughs> the dinner really was, um... Oh, it was mainly Bennett's idea. He just wants to make sure that you have a lovely, wonderful visit. Mm -hmm. You know, I have to admit, I think you were right when you said that when he is here, he's quite a different person. I mean, when he's here and at home and comfortable, there is a really quite a change in him. It's true. I'm so glad you've seen that. You know, Tom noticed that, too, when he came up here. Well, I may have had some reservations about him at first, but... Now, he really seems to be the right person for you. Oh, yes, he really is. Oh, and Kim, there's such a, such a gentleness about him. Well, I expect you bring that out in him. I would certainly like to think I do. <laughs> I think a lot of people just see a very jealous side, a possessive side. They, they haven't seen this other side, do you? Well, as long as you see it, that's the important thing. <laughs> I know. I love his gentleness. I guess more than anything else. And his great strength. He's the most exciting man I've ever known. <laughs> I would say the lady's in love. <laughs> oh, she is that. Um, head over heels. Really so happy for you, dear. Thank you. Of course, uh, Derek's death, that uh, certainly kind of put a damper on things there. But, oh, your being here has helped me so much. Well, I seem to remember that you've been there for me a time or two. Him. Our friendship means so much to me. And even though now I know we're living quite a distance apart, please, we must never lose close contact. Oh, listen, you know I wouldn't have it any other way. Okay. Now, if I could just get rid of that Hester. Oh, my, think I would have my life almost in perfect order. <laughs> listen, you better be careful what you say. Somebody's going to overhear you. No, no, I checked all <clears throat> that out. I'm, I was careful about that before I came in here. <laughs> what you do? Lock uh, Hester and Bennett up in their bedrooms? No. But I did hear Hester in her bedroom. She was puttering around getting ready for bed, and Bennett's room was dark. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Oh, poor darling. He has to get up so early in the morning. He writes on his novel very, very early, and so I'm sure he's sound asleep now. <laughs> 